Hey everybody, so we're getting back to the scheduling on the, on the 9 series, so with, with the app here. So um, I know we've set up some basic on and off events, but we're gonna get more in depth with the structuring of, of the schedule. This is the latest and greatest in the app, and it's really flexible on how it works and what you can do with it. It's really handy. So as we talked about in the last video, with the check marks and the no sign, here you see a visual implementation of that. So this will tell you what will run today and what won't run today, and it's really handy to see. So that's the first thing you'll notice that Rob's got on his screen, is that the on event and the off event will run today. The reason the others will not run is because they're not in the date range that are set for those events. Yep, maybe the easiest way to think about this is what is the most important to you? When you start going through your level of prioritization, your level priority is going to be what's most important to you, right? That's going to be highest on the screen. So I've set up some events for the fall. So I've got a birthday event, I've got a Halloween event, and I'm going to throw this little in thing in there, go dogs, because I'm a big Georgia Bulldogs fan, right? So back to back national champions. So, so explain what the, when they're set, the date ranges. Of yeah. So what we've done here is with Go Dogs, that's going to be a fall event, right? So from September 1st, we're going to go to November 30th, okay? Halloween, we're going to have the entire month of Halloween running from October 1st to October 31st. And then a birthday in there, October 12th, right? Okay, for so Go Dogs, you've got set up for Saturday only for in that time range. That's right, yes. So um, every every one of these events is going to prioritize your everyday on event, okay? So we know that. So we want it to override that on event for that holiday to occur. Halloween is going to be our least prioritized event here. So we want Go Dogs, which is going to be Saturdays in the fall, to make sure that that overrides Halloween. So if we have a Halloween event occurring in the month of October, on that Saturday in October, we want Go Dogs to occur over Halloween. So that's gonna be a level above, okay? And then one more priority above that is gonna be a birthday. So if this is your child's birthday or whatever it is, we want that event to make sure it runs. So even if it's a Saturday in the fall, even if it's in the month of Halloween or the month of October, that birthday event is going to occur. I mean, they should really just rename October to Halloween. Yeah, they should. The cool thing with the structure of this is you are able to move the events up and down. So if we decide we want Go Dogs to be able to, to um, be above the birthday event, we can drag and drop and click on set lower priority or higher priority depending on which one you move. So now you can see it's easy and so Go Dogs is now the priority. Let's talk about shared priority for a mm -hmm. minute. So, so if I if I long hold this and drag it anywhere really, I can say merge with Halloween. And then you'll see this shared priority come up on the screen, which means Halloween and birthday both have the same priority. So in most cases you won't want to use this, but in, in cases where let's say you have an event for your front yard and your backyard or something like that, you want them both to happen, then in those cases these events will both happen. In this case, you're probably gonna fight each other. Sure. They'll actually both run in back-to-back -back orders. Yeah. But if you had like a front yard and a backyard and you want them both to run, then you could share their priority. Sure. Yeah, and, and another reason to use the shared priority is, is also just for organization. You could potentially put all of your holidays in with shared priority, knowing that New Year's Eve is not gonna occur on Valentine's Day, it's not gonna occur on St. Patrick's Day. That's the way we like to set them up because what we like to do is ask the customer, what's more important to you, as Rob said? And if they say, Go Dogs is less important than any of my holidays, then you could drag it below, say set lower priority. Now all of your holidays move above that. So it kind of says, where, where do all my holidays rank mm -hmm. versus everything else? Now you could have some special holidays that matter more than others. So maybe you have two different shared priority holiday events. So you can structure this however you want and the priority structure allows complete automation that, we, that yep. honestly none of the competitors have mm -hmm. and we've frankly never had before now. Sure, yep, the platform makes it super easy. Just remember that your most important, the priority event to you is gonna be highest on the page. So, easy for you to say. Yeah, I know, right? That's the simplest way to, to think of this. One last thing we should cover is the priority structure only comes into play when the time mm -hmm. is the same mm -hmm. time. Notice that the off event is set at a different time. So the priority structure, I cannot drag any of these up to the off event mm -hmm. because it's set at a different time. So if you want to use the priority structure, you need to set all your events at the same time. 
in this case, Rob's got them all set for sunset minus 30 yep. minutes. So now he can decide what the priority is because they're all set at the same time. The reason we do that is we have some customers that say, hey, every hour I want it to do something else. And so they don't want a priority structure in that. They want every hour for it to change. So if it's set at a different time, you cannot set priority. All the events set at the same time, you can. Yep, absolutely. Thanks for watching.